Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here from Board Game Geek at FIJ 2020. I'm sitting down with Clément Lequeur from Gameflow, and you've brought us my first adventure. Yeah, a lot of books. A, a lot of books, yeah, but also also games. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of game and books, game books. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an hybrid thing, and uh, we don't really know where 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 to put it. But it, for me, it's more a book than a, than a game. Mm. But it's it's also a little game. It's it's closer to the book in which you are the, the hero. So this book. Now you have five in front of us. So are these all the ones um, that are available now? If you pay uh, really good attention, you will see that two, these two ones Aha! are the same. Four available yeah. now. <laughs> but I bring also the Japanese version because ah! I, I, I love, I love it. Yeah. How, how many languages are you in? Um, for now, we have uh, five language, and maybe sooner we will get a, a sixth one. But uh, yeah, French. That sounds logical. And uh, Spain, Spanish, Italian. Japanese and Bulgarian. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Can we, let's just, uh, I want to, if we're, you're okay opening up a little yeah, bit of one sure. book yeah. here, because um, I just want to give people watching an, an idea of what it is. What it, what it is. Yeah. yeah, so sure. this is the English one yep. for Finding the Dragon. It's uh, the, the first we, we produced in English. Uh, for now, we don't have a partner in the English speaking country, but we are talking now with the uh, for the U.S., so I hope good. that in this year we will have the good, uh, good news. do I. <laughs> <laughs> so, Finding the Dragon is the first book we made, um, and uh, how the book works, or how, how we can use it. You have a wheel in the, in the corner of the, of the book, uh, three wheels that will uh, represent your, um, uh, you, the, the object you, you, you collected in your uh, adventure. So at the beginning, this, uh, these wheels are empty. Right. And in the fourth wheel, you will ah, choose, choose your, your character. character. I'm going to choose... Lina the Tough Nut, uh, Sasha the Thief, uh, or Time and the Wizard. Oh, let's do the Thief. The, oh, oh, the Wizard. Oh, The Wizard, yes. Yeah. Simon the Wizard. And then uh, you will read the book to a child if the child does not know how to read. Uh, so. For, from three you, to... You live in a pretty little village on the edge of a wood, but today is no ordinary day. Today, you're setting out on an adventure. Today, you're going to adopt a dragon. Oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> so then, you'll face many dangers. Yeah. How will you go about doing yeah. this? Ask so, the miller, search the barn, select a map from the... Steal a map from the yeah. map maker. So here you have a question. So you have them to make a choice. You will open one of these choice. Only the one you will you do. I'm gonna say let's search now, the abandoned found, barn. Yeah. So you enter the barn and then you have another choice. Do you want to climb up the ladder to uh, search the top of the barn, or you prefer to search the bottom? I'm gonna stay on the bottom and flip one, mm, two, two pages. Okay. So you you search the bottom of the barn and you find a rope. That could be useful. That could be yeah. useful. Ah, oh, so add a rope to your green disc. And there is a so, symbol, so you turn. There we go. Yeah. And then you turn one page to continue, and this page is, uh, yeah, oh, it's a cool page. There we yeah. go. That is and, really clever. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. And then a new choice. So you will have to make the choice by uh, keeping in mind the, the object you collected and the uh, the strengths and the weakness of your character and try to make the best decision uh, in order to avoid to get some boo-boos. <laughs> At the end of the, of the book, you will have a, the last part. It's not really a choice, it's more a way of evaluate yourself. How many boo-boos do you, do you have? have? Three, one, or one or two, or none. And then you will have a different ending. <laughs> but I, I, I don't show the ending. Oh, you, of course I, not. I, yeah. We're not those people. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, that, I, I think how you physically designed the book is absolutely brilliant with the wheels in the corner so they don't Thanks. have to have that, that cognitive memory. They have a visual yeah. reminder right in front of them. What we liked in uh, Booked in Which You Are the Hero and also in the role playing game, we like the character and the. To, to keep your uh, to, to note on your uh, character shit all the things you collected and stuff but it was not possible for uh, children at this age because right. it's for three to four so this it was a way to create your inventory 
without losing without, any pieces either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And without noting anything, you just right. turn right wheels. And, and again, makes it very supportive for kids who are pre-readers or not yet reading yeah. at all. Yeah. So mm -hmm. That's I know, idea. And, and I think I love that this is, is very accessible. Yeah, for adults to be reading to kids, yeah. but also for kids to be exploring yeah. themselves once they do have those reading skills. Yeah, so sure. at the um, beginning of the reading skills, it's very good. Knowing that you have a fairly broad range there because you could read it to them or they could read it themselves. Yeah. Do you have a target range for an age or is it just, well, hey, if it looks interesting, try it, give it a try? Yeah. At the beginning we were more uh, focusing on the, uh, an adult reading to a child. It was for uh, children who does not know how to read uh, without the reading skill. But it appeared that it was very good also for the, uh, the, the children who starts to read. Oh. Yeah, yeah early so readers. that was good. <laughs> well, I am thrilled that we were able to, yeah, to flip so. a few pages, <laughs> take a little bit of a look at how to uh, adopt a dragon in my first adventure. <laughs> and Clément, I thank you so much yeah. for bringing us some examples. Actually, before I let you go, I have one more question for you. So of yeah. the four you have available now, so we have Finding the Dragon and then... The, the Odyssey of the Phobos. Sort of a space space adventure. Yeah. Um, submarine adventure. Right. So undersea adventure. Yeah. And then and dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 more like African. That, that, that's just a rhinoceros. Oh, that's but a rhinoceros. <laughs> I should have jumped to conclusions. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a little greenish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Which, I mean, talk about like just target topics for children. It's like <laughs> animals, underwater, yeah. space. Adventure, done. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of ideas for our next uh, adventures. All right, well, if you guys want to check that out and have an adventure with your kids, whether you're reading to them or having them read for themselves, you can check out My First Adventure, which is p being published by Gameflow, and thank you. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. Many thanks to you.